Hey guys, it's Will from TechRack and today I'll be showing you how to change your system font on your iDevice. Currently I'm using an iPod Touch 4G and it should work on the iPad and iPhone as well. So, the things that you need is Cydia. To get Cydia you must be jailbroken on any iOS firmware. Um, and you must have Cydia, obviously, and yeah, you want to go on Cydia. And you want to go on the search tab here. And you want to go ahead and search for Bytefont. Let's just, um, I'm just going to type Byte. And there it is, Bytefont. Once you found Bytefont, just tap on it. it should, um, and you, sh you want to go ahead and tap on install and um, tap on confirm. Uh, I already got Bytefont, so I don't have to go through that. And yep, so once you have by once you have downloaded by the font, by the font should be on your springboard. There it is, by the font. Um let's go ahead let's let's go back on Cydia and um if you download by the font there isn't any font pre installed for you, so you wanna get a font from the Cydia from the Cydia store. Um don't worry, every font that is on here on Cydia is free okay let's go on and once you're in, you want to go on the section tab and you want to um and you want to search for fonts here you go the fonts folder on here and you want to just tap on it and you just want to install any font on here um i'm not going to install any fonts so if you want to install a font just tap on it tap install and tap on confirm and then you're ready to go and download it once you're once you've downloaded, you want to go on buy the font, and I already got a bunch of fonts already down um, already downloaded from the CDS store here. Um, let's go ahead and just activate um, Akbar. All right, and once once you um, choose your font, there should be a pop up, and it would say, "Do you want to apply Akbar?" If you proceed, your device will spring. By the way, Eggbar is the name of the font that I'm going to activate. Just tap yes, and it should respring. And res don't worry, your spring is not rebooting. And if you're on tethered jailbreak, it would not. You would not have to re, re, re jailbreak. All right. So um, as you can see, there is a magnificent, um, a magnif magnificent. Um, change in fonts here. As you can see, the time, um, the clock here um, has a really different font. Even the font on Notepad it, or, or on Note is different. Let's type TechCrack here. Um, and there we go. Um, the font changed and it looks really nice. Um, and if you're bored of the custom theme you got, you just gonna you want to download the original iOS font. So let's go back on Cydia, and you want to go on sections. We go on sections. Yeah, let's go on sections here on sex on sections. Damn, yeah, sections. Let's go here and uh, let's go back on fonts. Here you go. No, it's entertainment. It's got fonts. Okay, on, once you're on fonts, you want to search for original. Here you go. Oh, he, uh, oh, uh, oh, you see here. Uh, you want to search for original iOS. There you go. Original fonts iOS 4.1, 4.0, and 4.2. If you're on Font 2, you want to go ahead and tap on it. And tap on install. And tap on confirm. But I already got my 4.1, I'm on iOS 4.1, so I got the original fonts iOS 4.1 here. So, to activate or reduce, to reduce the original font, just tap on it, tap yes, and it will spring. And finally, you should see, and it should have your, and it should have your original um, iPhone or iPod Touch or iDevice fonts that you have since you bought your device. There we go, you got the original font here and you're ready to go. Yep, pretty good.
Uh huh. And yes. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, if this video helped you out, please just give me a thumbs up, a big thumbs up. Uh, and if you have any questions or problems, just give, just drop a comment down below here, and. I will respond to you as soon as possible. Alright guys, this is Will William from TechCrack signing out. Bye bye.